EastEnders' latest update, Star gives rare sneak peek inside stunning Kent home. Peter Beale to return to Walford this year. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EastEnders star gives rare sneak peek inside stunning Kent home. Sopal is well known for her life in Albert Square, but her roots are actually in Medway. Kent has more than a few famous residents, with well-known names from the worlds of television, movies, music, and more to be found across the county. One such star is none other than Balvinder Sopal, perhaps best known as the villainous Suki Panasar in EastEnders. Having joined the popular soap back in January 2020, Balvinder has been a part of some dramatic storylines. Suki Panisar is portrayed as a hard-nosed mom who likes to keep her offspring in check. The character is devious and spiteful and is one of EastEnders' most popular villains. Suki's best-known storylines are those centered on her family, especially the death of her son in prison, Jags. While Balvinder's antics on screen in Albert Square are well known, her roots are actually in Medway. The soap star is from the Gillingham area, where she lives now when she is not causing trouble in Albert Square. While not too much is known about her home, she has shared the occasional glimpse onto her social media, giving fans little peeks here and there. Snaps have shown her embracing the outdoor space of her home, opting for some outside yoga when she can. Picture of her setup, she said, there is nothing like a bit of yoga in your back garden with the sweet smell of jasmine delicately wafting through. In the same post, she showed off her yoga moves, adding, blessed to have a garden and such gorgeous weather. Happy bank holiday all. She likes to enjoy her outdoor space, which catches the sun with her family, especially her sister, who she's particularly close with. Alongside one photo of the siblings, Balvinder wrote a reminder to her followers to cherish the ones they love, she shared. Take care of yourselves and hold those you love closely. Tell them every day you love them. Previously, the star has opened up on her life in Medway and how it fits into her EastEnders lifestyle. Speaking to Kent Live, Balvinder said, So I travel from Gilliam to Elstree. Unless I'm working early morning, which is a 7 o'clock start, then I'll stay over because I'm not attacking the M25 at 5 in the morning. EastEnders was never a dream, it kind of just happened. I was doing a theater job, and EastEnders came to me and my agent and asked if I'd be interested in auditioning. I looked at it and on paper thought that Sufi Penizar looked amazing, who doesn't want to play a villain. So then I did my self-tape and the rest is history. Balvinder has also shared some of her adventures around the Medway towns to her social media. In 2021, she shared some wonderful pictures of the historic Fort Amherst in Chatham. Captioning the pictures, Balvinder said, went for a lovely walk along the Great Lines. Just let my feet carry me and I ended up at Fort Amherst a fort constructed to protect Chatham Dockyard and the River Medway from a French invasion, 1756. I stumbled across the newly built amphitheater. Her life off-screen could not be further away from that of her villainous character on-screen. She is known to work alongside the incredible Kent Refugee Action Network, KRAN, which is based in Folkestone. Through one of her projects with the charity Belvender, learned a young refugee learned to speak English by watching soaps on the telly. She wrote in an Instagram post, she told me she learned to speak English the way the English do, by listening to us on the telly. I was amused and yet this way of learning language and culture resonated with me. Watching Bollywood movies and Indian soaps was also one of the ways I learned to speak Hindi, Punjabi, and Urdu. In another post reflecting on her home, Balvinder wrote, I love where I come from. It's taken me a while to really appreciate how creatively diverse Medway and surrounding areas in Kent are. Sure, some places aren't as beautiful, affluent, or full of rows of quaint little coffee shops, but it is full of heart 
and it's where I grew up. It's where I come from. EastEnders Peter Beal to return to Walford this year. EastEnders has announced that after a surprise appearance in Friday night's episode, Peter Beal, Thomas Law, will make his way back to Walford alongside his parents Ian, Adam Woodyatt, and Cindy, Michelle Collins, later this year. Teeing up Peter's E20 return, the BBC said, Peter's character is cemented in Walford's history as the eldest living son of EastEnders longest-serving character Ian, Adam Woodyatt, and the iconic Cindy Beale, Michelle Collins. He first appeared on screens in 1993 alongside twin sister Lucy and was played by Thomas Law between 2006 and 2010. His character has been involved in some of the show's most iconic storylines, including the gripping who killed Lucy Beale, who done it in 2014 that saw younger brother Bobby, Clay Milner Russell, imprisoned for his sister's death. Peter left Albert Square in 2022 after clearing out his grandmother Kathy's business account and has been living in France with his estranged mother, Cindy, in recent months. With old wounds to mend and parents who have made an enemy of themselves with most of the residents of Walford, it's safe to say that his return will be far from smooth sailing, but viewers will have to watch on screen to find out how and why the Beale family have reunited. Over the years, I had hoped for a return to the square, although I never thought it would happen. So it's an absolute delight to be back in Walford as Peter Beale, said actor Law. It's been great to see familiar and new faces, and I can't wait to explore the character again in the wake of Cindy's return. It's an exciting time to return. Chris Clenshaw, executive producer of EastEnders, added, I'm thrilled to welcome Thomas back to the role of Peter Beale. Although his time away from the square has been short-lived, the Beale family dynamics have changed immensely since he last left Walford. Viewers will soon learn the details relating to how he came to learn that his mom, Cindy, was in fact alive, and how he and dad, Ian, reconciled their differences. We're delighted to have him back permanently, but one thing is for certain, the Beals' comeback will be nothing less than explosive for the square. Thanks for watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.